Hello and welcome to the Valley Urban Farm. We start this morning with a new delivery system for our fresh produce. So I wasn't really happy with collecting the tomatoes and the strawberries in the back of a in the back of a lorry. So I had a bit of a look around and I found this refrigerated autoloader trailer has a capacity of 20,000 liters and it will autoload which I'll show you a little bit later um, but you can also load it manually and I'll show you it's actually really really cool so if you just hold the pallets at the open door you don't have to open the doors it just shows you what's happening and if you oh you can't really see it but yeah there we go you can see it's actually boxing the strawberries as we load them and putting them onto pallets fantastic love it so this is going to be the delivery system for our hydroponic system to the to the farmers market and we will see what else it can do with uh, things like grapes and olives and not quite sure how it'll handle those but let's get this sorted out first get these strawberries in here the nice thing is that this is kind of how it would be delivered in a sort of refrigerated trailer lorry or whatever I'm just gonna get these out of the way so one of its limitations is that it can only take one product at a time so when I was testing it I thought it would be a bonus if it would load different products but uh, no, one product at a time it does take a little bit of time to load and I think that's probably why so it's just to show you it won't take these now if I try to put those in there no it won't take them so that's not a, that's not too much of a problem so I have a solution to that what we're going to do is we're going to put another hydroponic greenhouse in show you that uh, after we've done a couple of deliveries and then we'll make each hydroponic greenhouse produce just one product so we'll have tomatoes in one strawberries in another oh I got lost on my own <laughs> oh got lost in my own yard can you believe it oh dear let's get out the right direction I'll show you what has what's what's going to happen with the greenhouses um, a little bit later. Let's get this up to the up to the farmers market. Yeah, so as you can see, it's nowhere near capacity. Oh, takes that really quickly. offloads really really quickly <laughs> any case I think it's still more realistic than putting all those strawberries in the back of a, a lorry and then I suppose what we should have been doing was loading the pallets but yeah it, it's one of the balancing acts that you have to do with this type of with this type of let's play let's call it that this type of video is that I've got to try and balance showing the deliveries without making it tedious in terms of the loading operations so I, I will be showing things that change in our delivery methods and every now and again, as I said in the last episode, we'll do we'll do little montages of just saying, oh, "Look, we delivered this, or we made a good profit on that, or obviously we 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 we're going to have to do it every every day." 
I want to do it every day. I don't want to store fresh produce for too long. Particularly the sort of vegetables, strawberries, lettuce, that those type of things. Lettuce I can let go for a day because it's a slower producer. But the tomatoes and strawberries must be must be cleared every day. The fish or every month. So we've got two day months, so at least on one of the days it must be done. The fish also at least on one of the days must be done. The grapes and olives in the big greenhouse um, we will deliver as and when necessary on those. It does produce quite a bit and so for roll-pay purposes we're going to say that it has refrigerated storage. <laughs> kind of our money bank the uh, the greenhouse to be honest it's really what's funding the expansion at the rate that we are doing it it does cost of course and, the, and that's why I'm quite happy to do it it's not like it's a, a cheap operation I mean uh, that is taking uh, I would say over 20,000 liters of seed every day or every month so, um, so and at least 12 10 to 12 thousand liters of solid fertilizer say a like amount of herbicide and um, what else does it take herbicide seeds of course water um, do, it's using about 60 thousand liters of water a day or, or a month should I say so yeah so it's not it's not without its um without its costs let's put it that way so that's one of the reasons why I'm quite happy to do it generates profit quite quickly but it's not it's not cheap whereas a lot of the others are much slower producing but conversely, they don't require refueling or refeeding as much. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so we're going to make that just tomatoes in that one. The next one will be just strawberries. And then if we just clear, uh, well, let's finish off loading these. And we'll just clear our trailer out of the way and we'll put another greenhouse down. So we've put the other greenhouse down, we've put some water in it and now some liquid fertilizer. And that will be doing lettuce. Yeah, so we have three hydroponic greenhouses. And that's all working quite nicely now. Let's just finish off delivering those letters. Well done. Nice and quick. Right, so we loaded up some grapes. And you'll have a look and see in the back all the whole thing is just full but it's got its limitations this uh, this trailer in that it um, it won't offload at the in game if you want to call it or the the base game um, productions and sale points Offlade's quite quite fine at the market stall, which is quite fine. So I thought I'd just test to see if it will deliver at the grape producing or the grape uh, the grapefruit production, grape juice production, grape production, whichever one it's called. We just reverse it in, and I know that the trigger points are pretty much in it already. Yeah. 
not taking them. So that's the limitation on delivering there, but if we're going to deliver to the markets, no problem, to the farmer's market. Right, so this is our first delivery of olives. Oops, turned a bit sharp there. And I got a bit confused. I couldn't find where to deliver it. And this gets even funnier. When you see where we have to deliver, you'll see why I say it gets funnier. It's one, one of those slow burning gags. We drive, drive through again. So I thought, okay, well, maybe he has to go in the second one. Nope. So then I thought, okay, well, let's go and highlight the uh, tag the place. It's got to be here somewhere. So I tag it, have a look around. <laughs> so we drove right past it twice. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, well. That's uh, all part of the fun. <laughs> if I'd only just driven over it, I would have seen that the the um, the highlighter would have come up. But no, I was trying to be careful not to drive over things I don't have to drive over. In any event, that's that done. Right, if you recall in the last episode we were having a bit of a problem with delivering herbicide to the big greenhouse. So I recall seeing somebody's video, I'm not sure whose it was, delivering with this flat trailer. So I thought I'd give it a go. And yeah, it works perfectly. It delivers straight away. So that's a problem solved. So we sold the old or the 10,000 litre herbicide trailer and we bought one of these. I think I'll probably change all the others over time to those um, because they do break a lot easier. Right, our first fish delivery now and I found it a little bit difficult to load these neatly um, because it kept on bumping into the sides of the container and then having to get them into the into the refrigerator it just just didn't like it. it was very very glitchy but not too much of a real problem we did get the delivery done and here we go first delivery to the you can see even even when we transported them out they fell on their sides and just jiggle it around a little bit so that they can fall the baskets can fall over. Yeah there we go. Yeah, nice bit of money from fish. That's the hydroponic system working working really really well. And then finally today we're going to uh, the pig farm. So we make a nice little investment. Product product going in there. The manure will be produced over here. Yeah development. We're on the move. Yeah, it's a I mean, pretty re much routine day except for the buying of the pig farm. Lots of little niggles sorted out in terms of things that I wasn't really happy with. Seem to have sorted that out to a large extent. Let's buy a couple of pigs. We won't buy a lot to start with about two of each. We'll buy babies. 
piglets. We'll grow them. It's the way to try and make a bit of profit. They're not really, really that profitable, but if we can uh, get to a stage where we sell sufficient on manure, that'll help a lot. And there they are, already making themselves at home. Not to be complained about. Let's just put a bit of feed in, some pig feed, so we went and bought some pig feed. Get them going, keep them fed. This will keep them going for quite a while, there's only six of them. And then uh, tomorrow we'll put some straw in. We'll have to just go and buy some straw. Look at the little piggies come running. Food, food, food. <laughs> Love it. Well, that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed this rather eventful but quick day. A lot has happened. A lot of little niggles have been sorted out. And of course we've made this nice big investment. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it. And cheerio.